today we're gonna solve this problem consecutive zor so chef has two binary strings a and b both having a length n he can perform following operation on a any number of time so he can select any two adjacent elements and what he can do is make ai equal to ai zor ai plus one and also ai plus one as ai zor ai plus one okay so what he want to do he want to make the string a equals to a by applying any number of time any operations on the string a okay so can uh, you have to tell that is it possible to make the string b or not so let us understand more with the sample test cases so these are uh, 0 0 and we want to make 1 0 so this we can't do so let's just uh, take the second element so 0 1 0 0 0 0 so this we can do let me just write and tell you how so 0 1 0 i have and what i want to make is 0 0 0 so what i can do is just select these two elements and what I will achieve is uh, 1 or 0 is 1. So I can, I have to make both of these elements equal to 1. So that is 1, 1, 0. And now I, I take all the both of uh, these two elements again, 1 and 1. I take these two elements again and what I, 1 or 1 is 0. So I can set both of these elements to 0 again. So 0, 0, 0. So yes, I, I can achieve the string B very easily in just two operations. So yes, the answer for the second test case would be yes. And in this, this is also yes, 0, 0, 001. Let me just explain to you this. So it is uh, 0, 0, 1, 1. And we have to achieve is 0, 1, 0, 0. How we can do is, uh, I can extend this one. So I can just pick these two bits and make all this one. So 1, 1, 1, uh, sorry. So how can I erase this yeah so I can just pick these two bits and make uh, both of these one and now what I can do is pick these two and uh, one or one is zero so I can simply make this like this so yes again I can achieve this string B so uh, how to approach this what should be our intuition so basically uh, it would be very easy to see if you just divide the string into like uh, blocks of zeros and ones so i am doing so i will just explain this so what i am saying that uh, just try to visualize it as like chunks of zeros and one blocks why i am doing this because i know i cannot perform any operation if i just pick a block of zero because just picking both the element as zero zeros or zero is zero and i can set both of these element to zero which they are already are so uh, in essential what I am trying to say is you cannot perform or there is no need to perform any operation on both zeros okay so what we I want to do is try to focus on the block of ones because that is the only thing uh, I this is the only way I can change my string so what I can actually do is pretty uh, cool so if I want this block to disappear I can just pick these two elements and make this 0 0 so I can achieve a string with whole lot of zeros okay this is the one thing I can do other thing what I can do is just like uh, what I can do is increase this uh, <coughs> this block of 1 how can I do so let's say I want to increase this uh, block of 1 into towards right hand side so I can pick this bit 1 and 0 and 1 and 0 is 1 and I can set both of these bit to be 1 so in a sense what I am actually uh, what I have actually done is 1 1 1 and 0 so the block was only of the length 2 now I have extended it to a length of 3 towards the right hand side and this 0 now disappears I can uh, do the same thing towards left hand side also so I can make this 0 1 and I can involve it inside here why so because 1 0 uh, zord is just 1 and I can set both of these bits to be 1 so what I, I can do also is 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 this, high, uh, this is how I can do so I can increase this one as much as I can so what I am trying to say if this only one uh, let's say there are a whole lot of zeros and only a single one present in your string you can make your whole string of one your whole string can be of 0 0 0 you can extend this one right hand side extend this left hand side one you can do as many things as you want 
so if i want to break this one block i can select any two ones and i will make them zero zero so now my ones are splitted so i can do a whole lot of operation if just a single one is present in my string okay in fact it turns out to be that you can make any string there are uh, in total 2 to the power n strings of length n because uh, length n and uh, every bit can be 0 and 1 so there are two options so there are total number of 2 to the power n string and it turns out to be that you can actually make 2 n minus 2 all these number uh, this number of strings you can make these two strings are exception and you cannot make them let us just discuss more about them so these two string are uh, for example i just take the fourth example of like uh, 0 1 0 let's say i have this string okay and i want to make this kind of string if i can achieve this so i want to make the 0 a 1 i want to do this so what i can do is extend this one in the left hand side till it re till it reaches this point because i want a 1 there and this is the only possibility i could do so what I can do is pick these two bits, 1 or 0 is 1 and I can make this 1. So 0, 1, 0, okay this, this should be 1 and 0, okay. Now I can pick these two and make this like this, 1, 1, 1, 0. And now I want to make these two zeros. So 1, I can pick these two and make this 0, 0. So I have essentially reached this point, I can do so. If if I uh, want like a 1 here, I can also do like uh, extend this here and then make this 0. So I can also achieve like 1, 0, 0, 1. This also I can achieve. So it turns out we can achieve any any string. Okay, any possible string if there is only one present. But there are two exceptional string that you cannot achieve in any case. What are those two strings? They are actually alternating string. What do you mean by alternating strings? Just uh, alternate. Alternating strings would be like, yeah. So alternating string will be 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, this kind of string or uh, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. You cannot achieve these two kind of strings in any case, okay. If they are already this, then okay. Otherwise, you cannot make them, okay. Why I cannot make them? Because what my what my operations are so let's say i have a string like 0 1 1 0 uh, so what i can do is essentially pick any two elements and make them equal either i can uh, if there are like 1 1 i can make them 0 0 okay if there are 1 0 or 0 1 i can make them 1 1 but i cannot never make 0 1 or 0 1 0 i cannot make them this okay so these strings are essentially never possible because of the type of operation we are provided. So the nature of the operations provided to us in the problem never allow us to make an alternate string of this kind. So these kind of two alternating strings are never possible otherwise if a single one is present every, every possible string you can make, uh, total this many string you can make, these two string you cannot make. If there are already this, then uh, there is no problem. So let's just make this uh, the conditions more clear with the help of the code. So this is essentially what I am trying to do. Make these two alternating things. This 0, 1 and uh, this is called 1, 0. So I have named them 0, 1 and 1, 0. And just I do if my uh, index is odd, I, p I put 1 and 0 here. Otherwise 0 and 1 here. So I essentially I am just making these two things. So these are 1, 0, 1, 0 and this is 0101 so what i am trying to do this is a stl so you have to just somehow check that your string has contain at least one one okay so that is what i am trying to do with this stl just uh, how many ones are there is stored in my this variable if there is at least one one then this condition will be executed if let's say this condition is not executed your string has no zero no ones so what you are essentially your string looks like in this case i am talking about so your string must look like this there is there is no one in your string so essentially what what we should do if your string is equal already equal then yes otherwise we cannot do any operation so our answer will be no okay so otherwise what here we can do is if your string has at least one one okay so if you have at least one one 
what we can do is at least one one we can make all type of string just these two are exception okay so if my string is uh, if my resulting string uh, notice there i am checking t not s t is the string i have to make okay so if my t i have to make the string alternating then I, then i cannot do that if it is already then okay otherwise i cannot never make that if if my string is at least have a one and uh, and i don't have to make an alternating string then my answer is always yes i can make any string 0 0 1 just like this 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 any string but just i cannot make this kind of string 0 1 and 1 0 1 0 these two strings are banned and you cannot make them simply okay so this was pretty much uh, it like uh, you have to just check of these two things there is one more method you if you are interested then you can also check just like this uh, the implementation are just different the idea is same so you make a just a variable like consecutive so if your resulting string t has a t1 uh, exactly equal to ti plus 1 in any for any possible i so your string is not alternating meaning your you can say that your string is consecutive okay so your string is not alternating so yes your all answer is always yes your string is not alternating if that is alternating then you have to check if it is already then uh, yes otherwise you cannot do anything okay and if you don't have a one all all are zero then no operation is valid again you have to check like if it is already then yes otherwise you cannot do nothing okay so that is an uh, easy solutions and uh, yeah hope you uh, understood the problem if you have still have any doubt you can just uh, visit the practice session of uh, no practice session of code chef and uh, you can just ask your ask your doubt to a doubt solver uh, you will have a column of doubt solving and you can ask the uh, expert your doubt okay you will uh, a doubt <coughs> bar will appear here yeah that's pretty much it uh, thank you for watching see you in the next video